Before you start building your case, you must make sure everything is properly installed in your case. And in this case, it did not include any fans, so I had to get two fans to fill the empty slots. Okay, to get started here, all I should need right now is a Phillips screwdriver like this. I come around here. And in this specific case, some cases have little thumb screws on the back here. Right down here. And tilt up the camera here. And rear out this gun, since I have them on DSLR, it makes a really loud racket to focus. But, uh, so I'm gonna, um, sorry if I get the focus out of the way. But I'll try to get this as easy as possible. And remember, you can skip whatever steps you don't deem necessary to watch, which, in my opinion, this is probably one of those. One of those steps. Come right here. Make sure not to lose the screws, even though they're fairly common screws um, and easy to replace. But it's nice to have screws to make sure your case stays, side panel stays on. After that, you just slide this over, pop it off, put this off to the side over here. There's no fans going on the side of, side of the side panel. Don't have to worry about that issue. Um, we're going to actually open up this box here. Most fans, most, uh, all really, should come with these screws. And that's the plug, um, screw, um, through the um, metal bracket here into the fan. In this case, I got two of these LED quiet fans from Cooler Master on Newegg. Um, they were, I think, the cheapest for two fan pack. That's how many I needed for this case. Um, I don't think my parents really cared. The fact that they are blue LEDs, but that could be a plus for some people that they're blue LEDs. Makes it look cooler. I just wanted something quiet and a decent amount of airflow. This you can either look at or not. It might come to play with your case or not. But this is at a later step and a later video. You get here, just unpackage these. I'm gonna do this first one and then I'll speed up the video. What you gotta make sure also is you gotta make sure the fans are blowing the right direction. The side that looks like a non like professional oh, non clean looking side is the side the air is gonna blow out of. The air is gonna come in through this suction and blow out this way, so you're gonna want like this. You typically you want the air blowing out the back of your case when you do when you have a computer like this. And also keep in mind what direction this cable goes to, because this is gonna plug into your motherboard for power and you want it on the right side so it's long enough or you can wrap it around which is what I'm gonna do if I can get in the right spot should be a port right on the side of the motherboard here and that will allow me to have sh less cable um, hanging around my case to make it look cleaner and better airflow so let's install this here I'll speed up the video now Okay, now we have this fan installed like that. This cable should wrap around, plug right into the motherboard. It's called a three pin power connector. You want it and keep track of all these pin names because I'll eventually just not tell you and it's got three pin power and you expect to know typically what that goes on there. I don't know. I'm gonna try and make this into like a class kind of thing. It actually teaches you it's good to learn what all these cables are called. So it's much easier to understand what other people do when you're looking up more computer videos and how to like install components and stuff like that. Tie the zip tie over here. As I said in the case unboxing, as you might have seen, 
comes with all these screws for installing DVD drives, hard drives. These will come at a later time, plus it comes with your motherboard connectors. That will be in the videos um, coming up in the playlist. What you want to do is stretch these cables out. And, um, make sure they're long enough. You kind of just don't really put these anywhere right now until you get your motherboard on the back panel here. Uh, so in this case, we're just going to leave this here. And we're actually going to take off the back panel. Let's speed this process up. Now you can see right here, that is the back panel. You should be able to every case is different. It looks like the front panel is screwed on. So it looks like what I'm going to have to do in this specific case is actually unscrew the front panel off of this. So I'm actually, um, just to show you that there's screws, there's screws back in here along the edge that hold this front panel on. And I'm going to stop the video and take it off. Um, and then I'm going to show you this quickly show you installing the front fan and putting it back on and we'll be done with this section of the video okay now we're back see I unscrewed the six or so see one two three six screws going up and down up and down the sides of the case here and you see it's these cables to plug in right here you can either choose to unroute these or reroute them however you like or just unscrew these but you really shouldn't have to you just all I have to do is just Set this down as before. Make sure you line up this side. Again, this is the side the air is going to be blowing out of. So you want that pointed towards the inside of your case. And like this cable, you want running through where these cables come through so it gets better wire management. You just stuff that back there. Make sure it's long enough. Um, I'm going to speed up now to get these fans installed as you can see I messed up on the side it goes on it's just usually dummy proof when you install these that it's hard to get the wrong side sometimes you can but and also it's notable that it's nice to have a magnetic screwdriver for installing this on the case, for installing stuff on the motherboard. As a precaution, I do not um, use a magnetic one. Just in case. I mean, it's more likely not going to do anything. But, it's nice to have a magnetic screwdriver when installing this stuff. And also, when you're installing the fans, because if you install, uh, don't do opposite sides, the fan could turn, then miss a line your holes when you're screwing in. It's good to do opposite holes when you're screwing in the fans down here. Let's speed it up now. Okay, now that we're done with that, so let's push these back through here. Make sure everything is all good. Put the case back in. And again, I'm going to stop the video to screw this stuff in. Okay, now that we have the front panel put back on, that is how you install your fans in your case. Again, every case is different and could be easier, could be harder, but that's in this specific case, which is a very basic case and much more complicated. Now in some cases, you might not even have to install fans; they're already pre-installed. In this case, they were not, 
and that's how I show you how to correctly install your fans into your case. You want airflow coming in from the front and then going out from the back. If you have any questions, comment below and continue on to the next video.